Friends, Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Today I have Medicom Mayfex Scarlet Spider from The Amazing Spider-Man. Uh, if you like the review, please like and subscribe and help me to build my channel. Uh, if you grew up in the 90s and you collected comic books, uh, you, it's pretty likely you knew who the Scarlet Spider was. Uh, he's a very controversial figure. I personally really loved the Scarlet Spider. Uh, but if you think Miles Morales was controversial, uh, Ben Riley was also very controversial as the clone of Peter Parker. And which one was it? Was Ben Riley the clone or was Peter Parker the clone? Was the Peter Parker that we had known and loved for so many years the actual Peter Parker or was it Ben Riley? In this long, <laughs> convoluted, drawn out storyline called the Clone Saga. But I mean, you know, it had me at the edge of my seat and, and I loved it. And for a long time, we thought Ben Riley was actually. The original Peter Parker created by the Jackal um, to defeat Spider-Man. But it turned out that it was Ben Riley who was the clone all along. And it wasn't. And Peter, the Peter that we knew, the Peter that we loved, was actually the real Spider-Man. So anyhow, he was a more edgier version of Spider-Man. Uh, he had a sweet costume, the Scarlet Spider uh, it was like a makeshift costume. He had the hoodie. Um, he had all the the appropriate 90s straps because, uh, you know, they just love to put straps on everything in the 90s for what, whatever reason. Um, just a great character. So uh, I picked this figure up. I'm going to bust him open and review him and uh, let's see what we got. I was so excited to get this figure. So... That being said, uh, as we can see, here's the, the first comic uh, with the costume appearance uh, from Web of Spider-Man 118. Uh, look at it, just, just an awesome design. There's so many iconic Spider-Man costumes, but uh, this is up there, you know, with the original design, then the black costume, uh, then we have the Scarlet Spider. Um, I also have uh, the Ben Riley Spider-Man costume there as well. So, Spider uh, Web of Spider-Man 118. Uh, you can see the Mayflex box has uh, has the same uh, drawing in the upper left-hand corner for the Marvel Comics um, Scarlet Spider. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. Um, there's the top of the box. Uh, Scarlet Spider face, Scarlet Spider logo. Uh, there's the bottom of the box with the little um, hologram sticker so you know it's not a fake. Because uh, there are definitely a lot of bootlegs out there. Um, there's all the images on the back, the different poses you have. There he is on the side. And there he is with the hood up. Uh, the hoodie looks great. My only complaint, uh, looking at this figure immediately is that it's the newer design of the Scarlet Spider that came out in the last couple years. And uh, the, the spider symbol is too small and it's sort of up in the upper left-hand corner of his chest, unlike the original design, which sprawled all the way across his chest. So I, I just don't like that it's so small. That <laughs> like annoys the crap out of me. I wish, you know, they would have went with the original image, which we have here. Um, well, let's bust him open and get a good look at him. I mean, he looks great. I mean, the just the soft goods um, sweatshirt, which was a big selling point for me. Uh, had to pick this figure up. So I'm going to try and pop this open without spilling hands all over the place because I do it every single time on every video and I fail miserably because this is vacuum sealed tight yeah see it's it's so tight that it's just it's gonna explode everywhere oh I did all right I succeeded <laughs> all right so let's get a look at these different head sculpts first 
So this is clearly um, just a, a repainted version of the black costume uh, heads that we got so far. So here is um, here's the symbiote Spider-Man head. So it's it's the same exact head sculpt. So we have that one there, but it, it's a good look if if you like that look. I'm um, probably not going to use that one to display my Scarlet Spider. Uh, this is the more comic book accurate one, which I'm definitely going to use. And uh, it looks great. Just the big eyes and they're sharp and pointy up top. Looks just like the comic, which looks fantastic. So this is definitely the winner for me for how I'm going to display my Scarlet Spider. And then we have one more, which I'm going to pull the figure out. And, and this is just like, once again, a little bit different. The eyes are a bit smaller. Oh, this looks like the modern version, the way it's drawn in the comic book. So I don't like that one. And I'm going to try and pop this head off and put that one away. And we got the nice little plastic protection there. So I'm going to pull that off and pop this head on so we have a more uh, traditional if i can get that on oh i'm very nervous i'm gonna break this pin okay ah there we go now that's my scarlet spider uh the original and i'm gonna pull the plastic off on between the legs there and there we go. And then they, they put a lot of plastic in this. And then they put it in between his waist, which it's like, how do I expect you to get this out of here? I, I appreciate the effort, but good grief. Okay. So here he is, man. And oh, I got to say, he looks wonderful. Oh, I'm so glad I got this figure. He looks great. Um, the sweatshirt looks amazing. Uh, the hood is really... Oh, there's a wire. There's actually a wire in the hood. So you get a wire in the hood. The hood can go all the way up. So you can... You can do some... Posing with the hood. However you want to do it. You can keep that up. So that's awesome. Got a wire in there. So we can put that up. And you can fold it down if you like. It's really skin tight, so that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, what's he look like underneath? He's got some nice abs. <laughs> uh, the belt, oh my goodness. So I just snapped that off. Didn't realize I was going to do that. So I'm going to have to glue that back on. So be careful with your Scarlet Spider. I just broke one of the web cartridge refills off his belt. And that is soft goods but that can come off very easily so that's frustrating and annoying um there's marble on the back and i think are there why okay i thought for a second they put wires in the shoulders of uh um of the hoodie but they didn't so there's the small symbol scarlet spider symbol i i just don't like that um, so here is the, the Toy Biz sweatshirt. This is my custom Scarlet Spider that I made. And see how it just sprawls all the way across his chest. Um, I prefer the way the symbol looks on this better. But anyhow. Um, what else? Uh, the web shooters look really good. That was always a nice, unique feature. Uh, he wore his um, sort of makeshift web shooters on the outside of his outfit. And then that became um, a feature of uh, his Spider-Man costume later on. Uh, when he officially became Spider-Man and stopped being the Scarlet Spider. Uh, what else? We got, <laughs> we got the leg pouches. Which uh, just a 90s artistic choice where everybody had pouches and straps all over them. I'm so annoyed that that just broke off there. I don't even think I have any super glue. So that's annoying. I'm going to have to go get some super glue to, to fix that. Um, articulation. So uh, he's got the standard Spider-Man 
uh, Mafex Spider-Man articulation. You can get them into some great poses. Uh, the hips drop down, so we can do, let's see, we can do a full, almost a full straddle. Uh, his leg kicks up pretty high. Uh, it's a little bit challenging to get him in a, a proper split, just because of the design. Uh, we got thigh, hip rotation, so you can move the legs there. Got the beautiful double jointed knees. Uh, this is a bit of a lighter red. I wish they would have went with a more darker red, like in the comic. Um, that's that's the kind of red I chose on my custom. It's just a darker red, scarlet looking, versus like a this is like a really light cherry red. Um, so we got the articulation in the toes and the feet look really good. Uh, we got ankle pivot. Uh, it looks like they gave us the magnetic feet. Um, so that's good also. And just the, the stitching on this sweatshirt, it just looks so good. Um, nice elastic uh, spandex material. Just really nice. You know, they even put like the little uh, ropes, you know, to tie the hoodie tight. So that, that's just like a nice feature as well. He just, he looks fantastic. Amazing, amazing figure. So what else do we got? Uh, we have the magnetic feet, which I like to put on all of my Mafex Spider-Man figures. Uh, we get a set of magnetic hands, which I like as well. Uh, we get a set of uh, web holding hands for when he web swings. Uh, and it's nice how they put them on these little plastic bars now. Uh, we got web shooting flip pans here. If I can pull them out. I'm making a mess. And I am struggling. There we go. So we've got the flip pans. That's what they look like on the inside. I, and I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. Um... There is shading in the red. Um, so here's a set of open hands as well. So if you want them to have open hands. And uh, last but not least, we have wall crawling, crouching hands uh, without the magnets. Um, so the magnets are just a really, really nice feature uh, if you want to stick them on things. Um, I've definitely stuck uh, my figures on um, my light stands in my office and things like that. So it's just a fun thing. Uh, what else do we have? Let's see if I can get this out. It's taped in the back here. Uh, in the back, we just have the stand and, and various webs. I'm trying not to make a mess. This is taped on here really good. I have to cut it so I can show you guys. But uh, let's see here. Cut that. Okay. So we have various webs. Um, these pretty much come with. Ah, uh, that's exactly what I didn't want to do, but I did it. <laughs> Anyhow. So what do we get? We get. Uh, we get some spaghetti webbing, uh, some curly stuff, you know, different lengths. Uh, it seems like they give us a little bit more webbing uh, than usual. So, lots of different choices there. Uh, I don't really like to use it, but, you know, it's a nice feature. My only uh, complaint besides the design of the logo is they should have given us a, a Ben Riley head. Um, there was a time when he had like shorter, spikier hair, but you can, man, this is on there tight. I'm afraid I'm going to damage this. Um, I hope you can pop the Ben Riley head on. Should be able to. Okay. Now you have Ben Riley on there too, uh, from the Ben Riley Spider-Man. 
So just a, a classic Scarlet Spider, just a beautiful figure. Uh, here he is compared to black costume Peter Parker. And then uh, here's my custom Scarlet Spider. Um, there's a lot better, in my opinion. <laughs> so I, I gave it my best shot, though. So anyhow, Scarlet Spider, classic Spider-Man character of the 90s, still going today. I don't like the direction they took him in, made him a little bit evil. But if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And God bless you all. Peace.